Hi there, I'm Kristen from Jimmy Bean's Wool and I'm here today to share with you what's inside your June beanie bags. All right, so jumping right in, we've got a whole collection of cottons, our favorite cottons, to uh, share with you this month. And we're really excited that you're gonna get to taste these ones because they're such awesome staples. And if you're doing any summertime knitting, these are just really wonderful choices. Okay, so first up we've got Blue Sky Alpaca Worsted Cotton. And uh, what I love about this cotton is that it's so fluffy. Uh, the yarn is actually a two-ply, and it's a loosely two-plied um, cotton yarn, worsted weight, but as you can see just from looking at the skein, that it is a really nice and soft, fluffy yarn. It's 100% organic cotton, and uh, it comes in a range of awesome colors. Every so every spring we see a bunch of this stuff fly out the door. And usually it's like in batches of six or seven. And we can only assume they're going towards baby blankets. But because this stuff is so soft next to skin that it's like the perfect yarn for that. It's also great for other projects too. We have a cute little baby sweater on our website in the free patterns page. It's called the Presto Changeo. And it's adorable. It's done in this yarn. Check it out. All right, and next up we've got Rowan Hand Knit Cotton. Uh, hand Knit Cotton is another great staple. Uh, it's been around for a long time. I wanna say at least 10 years, maybe longer. Um, and it's just, it's a really soft, soft DK weight cotton. Great for, again, baby stuff. Uh, you know, any uh, garments, it's just awesome for that kind of, kind of thing. Um, you know, adult garments as well. Um, comes in tons of colors and it's just sort of a like I wouldn't call it like it doesn't have sheen you know how some cottons have that like mercerized or Egyptian cotton sheen to them it's not like that so it's just a really great sort of like everyday wear kind of cotton and uh, but it's incredibly soft so you have these nice uh, little round or not round balls of it but it's just really awesome for um, like I said any kind of a project you can imagine for summertime all right and we've also got the Barocco Remix, which is not 100% cotton blend. It's a nylon, it's 30% nylon, 27% cotton, 24% acrylic, 10% silk, and 9% linen. Whew, that's a list. But it is 100% recycled fibers, which I think is a really cool thing about this yarn. It's just, um, it's just really unique in that not a lot of yarns out there have that claim. And uh, it's just also very, very soft. And what I love about it is the tweedy texture. So you get like the little bits of silk in there you can see. Um, and it's just, it's incredibly soft and awesome for summer projects, baby stuff. Uh, adult stuff. I'm, I've got a whole bag of this at home waiting to become a sweater for my husband. Um, it's just a really great yarn. So I think you'll like working with that one as well. And then lastly, we've got the Sublime Egyptian Cotton DK. Now this is exactly what you would think it is. Egyptian cotton equals luxury, right? So this is more of a higher end luxury yarn. Uh, it does have that little bit of a sheen to it that you would expect out of an Egyptian cotton. It's a beautiful yarn. So this is more of a, like, if you want to knit with a cotton, but you want your garment to be something that is like, kind of just a higher end looking garment, you're gonna go for something like this. It's awesome. Um, for that kind of stuff, but yet it's still really really soft. It doesn't have that stiff feel to it um, So yeah, it's a really good one as well I think you'll, you'll also enjoy it. What I love is that you're getting a range to taste here It's all they're all very different, but yet they're all made of cotton in some degree And so it's gonna give you an idea of the variety that's out there and kind of what you want to look for When you are picking cotton for a project that you want to make so um, I think that's a really important thing because you you might want like the garment or the pattern you have might call for something that doesn't have a lot of sheen but you might want it to have that so maybe you want to pick something like the Egyptian cotton or something along those lines so these are actually the same yarns all rolled up into little mini balls here for you that you'll find inside your uh, beanie bag also inside your beanie bag this month you're gonna get um, a cable needle from Knitter's Pride these are aluminum but these are really just awesome to have in your notions bag because you never know when you're gonna need one of these to hold on to some stitches it doesn't even have to be for cabling I use them all the time to hold on to random stitches that I've dropped um, until I come back to that area of the pattern so just a really great little thing to have in your bag of course you're gonna get your monthly little soak wash and then the pattern this month is really fun so you're gonna get both in it and the crochet pattern and we thought it would be neat to do sort of like a little spa theme uh, because cottons are great for um, making washcloths and things like that but instead of washcloth we kind of thought beyond that and we did little bath mitts so the crochet mitt has a really heavily textured side um, 
which is really nice because it's more scrubby and uh, a little bit more exfoliating. And then the back side is the softer kind of wash side. So it's a little bit more uh, matte, less exfoliating, depending on what, what kind of a day it is. And so that one's really cute. And I love that she did a little, uh, little hangy thing for it so you can use it in the shower. And then the knit version is also really clever. I've never seen anything like this before. But these are little mini mitts that you can use for scrubbing your face. And obviously you don't have to use them both at the same time like this, but to show them off, they fit on your three middle fingers just like this. And they have a ridged side and they just have a basic textured side. And you can use either side you want to wash your face with, which I just think is just really clever. These are so neat and you can get two of them out of the pattern or out of the supply in your bag rather so it's just super fun so anyway uh, those are the patterns this month and all of the yarns that are inside your beanie bag of course if you have any questions about any of it feel free to give us a call or send us an email we're happy to help and thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day and happy knitting and crocheting bye <laughs>